Hello guys, my name is Arsalan. Welcome back to my channel. And today we will be solving a new lead code question that is three devices. And we will be solving this uh, question with the help of JavaScript. So let's read out the question what the question is asking from us. So given an integer uh, and return true if n is exactly three positive devices, otherwise return false. So we have to return true or false. If the condition is true, we have to return true and otherwise false so what actually we have to return true we have to return true if the number n for example uh, number n is 4 so if it has 3 divided we have to return true otherwise we have to return false so it should be exactly 3 not more than 3 or less than 3 so we, it's written clearly here that exactly 3 positive divisors so what actually are divisors? Divisors are number which are divisible by the nth number. For example, if it is 2 and it, if it is divisible by, you can see that 1 and 2. So we have to return false here because there are two numbers which are divisible by 2, 1 and 2. So similarly, if we talk about 4, there are four, three numbers which are divisible by 4, that is 1, 2 and 4. So we have to return true for this condition here. So I hope you have got the point here. So just before I start coding this section, please guys do subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and press the bell icon button so that you can get the recent updates from the channel. So let's start this question and I will be creating a variable here which will be my i, let i is equal to 1 and then I will be creating a let result is equal to an empty array in which I will be uh, putting the value and then I will be creating a while loop for a while and it's greater than or equal to i then if n it's n mod i is equal to 0 then push all the values in the array here so I will be pushing result dot push n push all the nth value which are divisible by i so if i talk about here in example number two i will getting what i will be getting in the result i will be getting let me comment out and show you what i will be getting okay just i should just run this code here uh, uh, result i will be getting one and two okay so if you see that we are getting the length of len is equals to Two. okay similarly if we see uh, if you uh, talk about four I means if I talk about example number two which is n is equals to four I will be getting one two and four so uh, length is equals to three so what I will be doing I will be saying that return uh, result dot length is equal to 3. So if I run this code now, I, you can see that okay, so okay, so result dot length what's actually coming up here? Let's understand. Return result dot length. last few gc okay so i haven't increased the value by i plus plus that's why it's coming up uh, because i have to increase the value of i as well so if i run this code now you see that if it is running successfully now okay so just i just forgot to increase the value by i which i which it should be increased actually it is a loop in here so now you see that we are run, code is, has been running successfully. So this was all in the question guys. Hope you have understood the concept and hope you have liked the video. If you have liked the video, please comment in the comment section that you have liked the video. Thank you guys for watching the video. See you next time.